Earlier in today's show, we learned how heat pump technology can be used to efficiently heat and cool homes here in the upper Midwest. Now let's see how this same technology can be used to effectively heat and cool challenging rooms in both residential and commercial applications using what's called a ductless split system as we finish up with our HVAC specialist, Larry Hacker. Stuart, I wanted to show you another application for an airside heat pump, a little bit different than what we just came from, from that homeowner. Sure, well, you know, when we pulled up to this building, it looked like a pole shed to me, but it's much nicer now. You come in here, it's cold storage, it almost seems to be light commercial application. Yeah, exactly, this is a partial pole shed conditioned for a shop area, and they're doing it through in-floor heat, which is wonderful. Sure. But then what they did is they added on an office space. The office space has a little bit different climate needs than out here when they're working in the shop. Now with the in-floor heat, you can kind of feel it on your feet oh, right yeah, now. Real it's comfortable. real comfortable. Yep. But I know it's challenging cooling buildings like this as well. Exactly. The other thing we want to look at is that floor out here is nice, but when you have somebody occupying an office, you need the shoulder seasons taken care of, whereas out here when they're working in the shop, they can handle it a little bit cooler. Sure, in other words, you don't want to spend all the money to heat this area if it's just cold storage, essentially. Right, right. So let's go take a look at that. Here is the indoor section of the air handler for a ductless split. Wow, that is pretty attractive. It's not anything what I expected to see for a heating and cooling system. Yeah, they've really done a nice job to make it aesthetically pleasing. And the beauty of this is the versatility where you can put it, the different applications that it will be utilized to give you more conditioned space. In here, it's an office. They had the choice to be able to maybe go baseboard with a window unit for the cooling side, and instead what they did is they did in-floor heating, and they put a heat pump version of this in, so they can take care of the shoulder seasons, and if they need to add a little bit of heat in the wintertime, even if the floor may not be keeping up, this will take care of it and bring it up the rest of the temperature uh, to, again, make them comfortable in here versus the shop section we were looking at, which they like it cooler. You know, I could see that working well commercially and residentially. Absolutely. I mean, the modern look today, it's very acceptable to anybody out there. In this application, it's an office. They were very limited with what they could do for baseboard, that type of thing, and or if they wanted a, some type of cooling through the wall unit. This was much more palatable in their case for what they wanted to accomplish here. So it gives them a lot more usable space in here for an office. And a couple things. You said some of the other options in here, if they didn't go with a ductless split system, would have been to put the old unsightly air conditioner in the window. Right. And then the inefficient electric baseboard heat. And even here, I don't even know if you could have put it in underneath everything. So you're talking about a much more efficient system. Aesthetics. I mean, it's aesthetically pleasing. And... The name of it was kind of interesting. You said a ductless split. Is that because it's great for applications without ductwork? Exactly. They can go ahead and put these into an area where there isn't ducting already existing, and it will give them the condition they need to be able to heat and cool accordingly, utilizing the heat pump section that sits outside. The beauty of these things as well, this happens to be a single head unit like we're seeing here, but if there was four or five offices, they could go ahead and put in one of these in each office, and now they're zoned on top of it. So if we had three offices here, all of them are roomed off. They could go ahead and have one of these heads in each one of those offices and be able to take care of the comfort of each individual separately from the entire system. And again, somebody watching the show might say, well, why wouldn't you just condition the whole space with one air conditioning unit or one furnace? I know we had a chance to talk to the owner briefly and he said, hey, a lot of times we're, we might be spray painting or might be doing something out there. There might be some unwanted odors mm -hmm. out in the shop area. Yep. It's totally separate. With these systems, you're conditioning the air, both heat and cool, making a very comfortable working environment without having to spend the money to heat and cool the entire volume of that shop. Absolutely, and it's completely isolated, which is good, and it keeps this climate separate from what may be going on out in the shop area or any other area attached to the building. And that was one of his concerns. They could have done it with ductwork, but this was the best option for his application and their needs. Well, hence the term ductless split. Now I get it. Great for applications like this, like three season porches, like I suppose mother-in-law suites above a, a garage. I mean, things that come up in life and in lifestyles that you didn't think of when you were building your home. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Well, you know, Larry, with the advancement of technology, I love to see an industry that continues to evolve. And the heat pump industry is doing just that, creating applications for people's needs that, you know, before were less efficient and very unsightly. So thanks for coming on and sharing it with us. Thank you.